Well, Jimmy, not sure if you saw last night's hub. I never miss it. In honor of Tony Stewart's Bristol helmet toss, we did some tossing of our own. We call it the Tony Games. And by the way, I took home the honors. Burns, I know, you should know I never miss a show, but you really upset me when you didn't invite Numero uno to show you well, guys how it's done. We thought you were having Jimmy time yesterday. Yeah, I'll show you Jimmy time. Watch what I did today. All right, Spence, time for you uh, take a look at how you did. Here's Jimmy with our newest Hub reporter, Caitlin Vinci. Thanks, Steve. Very excited to be here at the Hub, joined by Jimmy Spencer, who I heard is a little bitter that you were not included in the yesterday's Tony Games. Very bitter. Let me tell you something. I heard they had a little throwing contest. They did? And they didn't invite the driver. I'm going to show them how it's done. That's right. Today's your opportunity. Let's see what you got. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the next event is accuracy. What Jimmy needs to do is get that helmet through one of these tires. This first one is worth two points. This one is worth four. These are worth eight. Steve was the only one who was able to get through this tire, which was a total of four points. All right, Jimmy, let's see what you got. This is going to be too easy, Caitlin. I'm going to show you how to do it. Awesome, baby. What do you think of that, Caitlin? <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Next, we have the third and final event, Tony's Tower of Power. Yesterday, Steve was able to knock down four of these tires, which was the high for the day. Pretty impressive. Jimmy, you think you can knock down five? Caitlin, yeah. I count six. You're right. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! Where you at now, Bernsey? <laughs> All right, Steve, you guys saw it. Looks like we have a new champion of the Tony Games. No way. <laughs> Highly controversial. I'm saying that's all TV magic, TV tricks. Trick cameras, they, trick editing. They do trick stuff, but that was skill, my friends. That was skill. He's just jealous. <sighs> What about Bristol, Spence? What about Bristol? You know what? Saturday night was the way it's supposed to be, under the lights at Bristol. It was raw emotion all over the track. Sure, the Tony Stewart, Matt Kenton situation grabbed most of them headlines. And why not? I love this move by Smoke, getting the fans all wrought up. Cool, man. But it was all over the track. Heck, even Kenny Schrader looked a little ticked off after Jason Leffler got a little too excited five laps in the race. Hey. Maybe Leffler didn't know that it was 500 laps. What do you think? Here's another moment I can't see enough of. Check out Jimmy Johnson just wearing out the Biff's back bumper. Get some of this here, Biff. Yeah, but I mean, does he think I, I'm the one that got him into the fence or something? I wouldn't think so. He's, he's just angry for some reason. Go ask his spider why he's running into the back of me there after he hit the fence by himself. Just curious. He just can't go anywhere. He's parking in the middle so bad. Uh, just trying to figure out a way by. Not wrecking him, but letting him know I'm faster and you better move, baby. It's Bristol. You know what? Danica did a great job, but she got the Bristol treatment. She even got fired up. I loved it, man. Another favorite moment of the weekend was Friday night in the nationwide race. Late in the race, Austin Dillon and Trevor Bain are going at it. Yeah, he tried a little slide job. Oh, now he's in trouble. Yeah. Oh, and it's gonna put. Like they're arguing over the wall. I mean, come on. Hey, Bane ends up in the wall, and after the race, he goes to give Dylan a piece of his mind. Uh oh, here comes Grandpa to save old little Austin from big bad Trevor Bane. Really? Richard, remember the last time you got involved? It cost you six figures, and you had to take off your watch? Let the kids settle it themselves, man. It's Bristol. Bernsey, I loved it, man. It was awesome. It was awesome. I remember that. Hold my watch. <laughs> <laughs> Cost him a lot, too. It sure did. You, you know what, though, Steve? It was really... That's a rumor. That, 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 <laughs> that scenario is a rumor. But I'm going to tell you something. Give Bruton Smith a lot of credit. Because I'll tell you what. Get your tickets now for the spring race. I believe it'll be a sellout again. 
I'm still, I still think it was TV magic, but you're, you're a little shenanigans. You're just jealous, Burns. You knew not to invite me. Hey, I'm a driver. You're a crew chief. Come on, Burns. You know better.